Chakra is a Sanskrit word that means wheel. So your chakras are spinning energy wheels or vortexes that energize and strengthen our seven endocrine glands and meridians each and every day. The health of each of your seven major chakras will determine the health of your mind, body, and spirit. So in this video, we're going to go over each of the seven major chakras and what keeps them aligned and balanced, and also what you can identify as issues that could be causing blockages or denser energies in those chakras. The root chakra is located at the base of the spine in the area of the perineum. This chakra is the color red and is related to the lower sex or reproductive system, the rectum, tailbone, the legs, and the feet. The mental emotional strengths and blocks for this chakra have to do with the the physical body and financial needs. It has to do with the safety and security here in the physical world. So the chakra is connected to your sexuality, physical actions, groundedness, and the energy that your physical body actually has. The sacral chakra is the second major chakra located two to three inches below the navel. This chakra is depicted as the color orange and it's connected with your spleen and blood sugar, ovaries, the urinary tract, uterus, kidneys, and adrenals. Mentally and emotionally, this chakra is connected with your feelings, your emotional needs and boundaries. This chakra is connected with the feelings of trust, warmth, and intimacy, as well as the feelings of attachment and letting go. This chakra is also heavily concerned with addictions and the pleasure and joy, as well as beginnings and endings. The third Chakra is the solar plexus chakra, located about an inch or two below your belly button. And this chakra is depicted with the color yellow. And it is related to the physical body in the area of the pancreas, stomach, liver, small intestines, and it also has to do with your blood sugar and digestion. The mental and emotional energy of this chakra has to do with willpower, self-control over self-indulgence, um, seeing yourself versus others, so your own confidence and self-esteem. This chakra has to do with your beliefs, um, with any constructive details or self-criticisms in your thoughts, and also um, perfectionism at times. The fourth chakra is the heart chakra. And this chakra is located right in the center of your chest and is depicted with the color green. The heart chakra is in charge of the thymus, the heart, breathing, allergies, lungs, blood pressure, the lymph nodes and system and your immune system. The mental and emotional aspect of the heart chakra has to do with having inner harmony. It has to do with trusting yourself and others. This chakra has to do with how loving you feel and how gentle you are with yourself as well as others. This Chakra will determine if you are able to give and also able to receive without giving. And this chakra will determine your flexibility and your openness to meet new people, to receive new ideas, and to grow in general. This chakra is also involved with your 
coping ability, um, coping with loss or grief, and also just in general with the balance between the physical and the spiritual body. The fifth chakra is the throat chakra, and it's located about mid-throat, and this chakra is depicted using the color blue. The throat chakra physically is connected to the thyroid, the parathyroid, neck, ears, respiratory system, um, sinuses, allergies, and things like that. Mentally and emotionally, the chakra, if it's open and clear, then you are good with communicating your feelings and thoughts. And also, this chakra helps with receiving creativity and speaking up for yourself releasing things that need to be released and breathing in life force that needs to be received. This chakra, when is in balance, can help you to heal in multiple ways. The sixth chakra is the third eye chakra. This is located in the center of the forehead and is depicted using the color indigo. The brow chakra or third eye chakra is physically connected with the pituitary gland, the hypothalamus, the eyes, and the autonomic nervous system. Emotionally and mentally, this chakra is in control of visualizations of your clairvoyance and connection with your inner voice. This chakra, when in balance, helps you to make choices that are for the goodness of all concerned. And you can also pick up on your psychic and subtle awareness of yourself and others when this chakra is in balance. And out of balance, this chakra is uh, heavily related to addictions. And finally is the crown chakra, the seventh chakra is located on the top of the head and the crown chakra is depicted using the color violet. Physically, the crown chakra is connected with the pineal gland, your hair, your head, and the nervous system, the central nervous system. Mentally and emotionally, this chakra is one that controls compassion your feeling of being at one with yourself and others. And this chakra, when is clear, you're able to see yourself and others and you see that connectedness between all things. Out of balance, you can actually feel more detached from other people. Um, anyway, this chakra also determines your feelings of harmony, of a peace, a non-attached love, so unconditional love, um, spiritual love, and um, also with an openness, this chakra gives you a feeling of allowing. So you're able to allow others to be as they are while you allow yourself to be as you are. To balance cleanse and rejuvenate the chakras. One of the best ways I have found is to use conscious breathing with visualization. All you have to do is breathe in deeply, one color at a time, starting with red all the way up to violet. So all you have to do is take in some deep breaths while imagining a bright, vibrant, color red, filling your entire being. Once the color is bright and your body and aura are full of this light, simply allow that color to drain out the bottom of your feet and allow any negativity to go out along with it. And then move on to the next color, orange, and begin breathing in a bright, vibrant orange light into your body and aura. And again, use this visualization all the way through the rainbow until you complete all seven colors.
the health and vibrancy of the energy that flows through your body is largely determined by your own thoughts. So the more that you are living in excessive worry, controlling thoughts, complaints, if you're irritable, and always seeing a problem with everything in your life, it is likely that you are creating blockages and density in your chakras. So always be sure to control your thoughts. The thoughts are the thing that we can control the most with practice. And as you begin to cleanse your thinking into a more positive and forward moving thought, that will then cleanse those blockages out of your chakra by simply changing your thoughts. So if you find yourself in the lower vibrational energies within your thinking most of the time, the best place to start to increase your chakra health is to get out of that lower, slower vibration and get up into the stronger, more love-centered thinking that will bring more health and harmony to each and every chakra. Anoint your chakras with the Chakra Collection from Tracy's Apothecary. The Chakra Collection is an oil roller set that includes all seven chakra oil rollers from Tracy's Apothecary. This set includes the Root Chakra Roller with Red Jasper, the Sacral Chakra Roller with Carnelian, the Solar Plexus Roller with Citrine, the Heart Chakra Roller with green aventurine and rose quartz powder, the throat chakra roller with chrysocolla, the third eye chakra roller with labradorite, and the crown chakra roller with amethyst. The chakra collection is a great value as well. This set offers a savings of $27 off of the individual price for each roller. The Chakra Collection is produced in a sound bath of high vibration healing music in an environment which is cleansed using the smoke of white sage and purified using the smoke of Palo Santo each day. Before this product is sent to you, it will be charged with Reiki by me with strong intentions for the highest good of all concerned. I hope you enjoy the Chakra Collection as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you.